Howdy folks, BC here. You're watching BC's Deuce and Guns. Today is going to be part two in my T-53 Chinese rifle purchase. And if you recall from my last video on this, they are both uh, T-53 Chinese rifles that I purchased from Century International Arms for 60 bucks a piece. The reason why they're priced so well is because they are part of their you fix them line, which basically means there's something wrong with them, something missing, or they're extremely dirty and it wasn't worth their time and effort to clean up. So let's take a look at that now. Let me take them apart, clean them up, and we'll see what's there and what needs to be done to them. In order to disassemble and clean my Nagant rifles, I'll be using a flathead screwdriver. All Nagant rifles are put together with simple flathead screws, so this is all you need to take it apart pretty much. There's a few pins in there, but I'm not gonna take it down that far. And to clean, I'll be using an old t-shirt. After these two rifles, I'll probably be throwing away this old t-shirt. And a couple of old toothbrushes. I got a bronze bristle brush here. I'll probably also grab a stainless steel brush. I've got somewhere here in the shop, but I have no idea where it is. I'll find it. And a simple Tupperware tub. That was made by Ziploc, I believe. And a bunch of paint thinner for the Cosmoline. It's just a basic cleanup process there, and there's all the gunk inside the stock, but it's pretty much together. It's got some splits. There's a little split right there. And I think that's a little tiny split, too. Still pretty solid, actually, so I may just clean it up and use it. I'm going to set that to the side because I will be cleaning that up with some spirits later or some paint thinner, whatever I got handy. Now the barrel. Again, that looks like it's rusted all up. But there really is just Cosmoline. Now I'll turn my camera around. I've got a big light source there. So let's see if I can get a look down the barrel with you guys there. You can see the rifling is there. And this is pre-cleaning. So let me go ahead and run a jack through it a couple times and see what kind of junk comes out of it there. Now to clean the barrel, I'm gonna go ahead and use my 30 caliber jag on a cleaning rod and some of these patches. I'm just gonna dip this patch into the paint thinner because again, we're not trying to clean out powder residue. What we are trying to clean out is all that cosmoline that they got stuck in the barrel for preserving it. Now let's go ahead and just run that through there. And of course, it's always a good rule to run your uh, patch from the chamber and all the way to the or all the way to the muzzle okay that is not that i expected a worse looking patch there go ahead and run a couple more through that and we'll take a look at it and see what the bore looks like after cleaning i have now cleaned the barrel up and dried it and we'll take a look and see what it looks like now. That actually looks really, really good. So we can get it. There we go. Yeah, you can see a little bit right there. Not bad. I bet this will be an excellent shooter. Now let's take a look at the bore on rifle B. As you see, there is rifling in there, and there's also some sort of obstruction. So let's go ahead and get that cleaned up, and we'll see what we're dealing with. Okay, just like on rifle A, rifle B, I'm going to be dipping a patch in here and running it through with a 30 caliber jag from the chamber to the muzzle. Let's see what comes out of there. Oh! <laughs> There's your obstruction. That is all Cosmoline. Wow. There you go. That was the obstruction in the uh, barrel there. That would have that would have definitely destroyed the rifle if we decided to shoot it with that in the barrel. Alrighty, well let's go ahead and clean this sucker up and I'll show you what the actual lands and grooves look like now, once we're done. Let's take a look at Rifle B's bore. As you can see, it's definitely, it definitely has some corrosion in there from the corrosive ammo that they shot. It's not quite as pristine as Rifle A's bore, but definitely a serviceable 
shootable bore. And as you can see, I have the two T53s here completely cleaned up. I'll do a steady cam overview on each one of them here. And we're at the range, so I'll take them over to the shooting range and we'll see how each one shoots. We are back from the rifle range. So here we go, we'll talk about them over here. First off, rifle A. This was the first rifle I pulled out of the first box on the previous video. That was the one with the boogered up handguard. And basically, I'm fairly pleased with its performance accuracy wise. This was at 50 yards. Here's rifle A as you saw me actually shoot. We got two shots there, two shots there, and we have that flyer over here, which was probably me, who knows. Now, unfortunately, we have also Rifle B, which actually has a better finish than Rifle A, has an intact handguard. The bore was not as pristine as Rifle A, and to the point where you, actually, you saw the actual shot, I'll show it here. See, that wasn't really that good. So ungood that I didn't want to wait around for the range to go cold to go down and retrieve the target. But here is the same size target I was shooting at that you saw me shoot in the video there. Here's what Rifle A did. And Rifle B could barely keep, actually couldn't keep it on this target. That's pretty rough. And I may make this a project rifle so I can squeeze out some extra accuracy or Maybe just practice on my gunsmithing skills because it's definitely not very accurate. Overall, I'm very happy with my purchase. I got a $60 rifle A, 60 bucks, and I got an excellent shooter and good quality rifle. Rifle B, not such a good shooter, still a high quality rifle as far as its fit and finish goes. So I could definitely use the parts on either other most of the guns I have or make a new project rifle as I said. So really 60 bucks each, I would give it a thumbs up right there. Well, guys, that's all I have today. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and uh, comment below if you enjoy this kind of thing. And remember, I put out a video every Wednesday. It's going to be about a deuce and a half or about shooting. See you guys.